Hey folks, Ira here. Hope you've had a great week. Thanks for tuning in for a special Earthquake Report, where we cover earthquake activity spanning from February the 24th through the 28th. I thought you would like to know that today, February the 28th, is also known as Public Sleeping Day. Isn't that not funny? Anyways, this is your opportunity to sleep on a park bench, or you can doze off under a blanket on the beach, and some people may opt to sleep on the job. Anyways, if you plan on knocking this out today, make certain to tell us about it below. We'll throw you a shout out in the next video, okay? So, you came here for the earthquake report. I'm going to provide it to you. Let's jump into it, shall we? Over the past four days, we have seen 816 earthquakes, 12 of which fell within the magnitude five range. Interestingly enough, we haven't seen any 6.0s or larger. 34 quakes registered between a 4.0 and a 4.9. 140 fell within the magnitude 2 range. The remaining quakes fell between a magnitude 1.9 and lower. At the time of writing this, we have seen 5,249 quakes for the month, 950 quakes for the week, and 52 for the day. Wow. Now, did you ever think that we experienced this many daily, weekly, monthly, and annual earthquakes? I mean, gosh, it is amazing. The, the Earth is truly alive, my friends. The most powerful quake over the past four days struck the Western Indian Atlantic Ridge on Saturday, 227. That was clocked in at a 5.9. Now, we have seen a series of quakes also strike the Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge. In fact, that area saw a 5.5 also on Saturday. It is interesting that we see movement on one side of the planet and then a related seismic event on the other. It always blows my mind as to how things are connected, not only with plates and faults, but in everything that we see and experience. It's truly amazing. Argentina experienced a 5.0 on the 25th, and Fiji continues to be rocked by quakes also. They experienced a 5.1 on Saturday, that's February the 27th, Indonesia is constantly experiencing movement as well. In fact, over the past four days, this area has seen four earthquakes averaging a magnitude of 4.8. One of the more interesting earthquakes struck the Atlantic Ocean this morning, a 4.8 to be exact. This occurred just 361 miles from Puerto Rico and roughly 306 miles from the Virgin Islands. This area experiences activity, but it doesn't appear to be often. It's interesting. Speaking of interesting quakes, take a look at what happened in Yellowstone on Saturday. A 4.0 struck Jackson, Wyoming. Now that is wild. You know, we talked about the quake activity striking Yellowstone and the uh, caldera on 222. And since then, we've continued to see movement in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. We'll definitely have to keep our eyes peeled on this area. Movement with that kind of intensity definitely captures our attention, considering uh, it has been at the heart of our favorite supervolcano. Now, Oklahoma has seen a boatload of earthquakes over the past four days, 37 in total, with the strongest being a 4.0 out of Perry. Now, if we take a look at Google Earth, I think you will not be surprised to see a fracking op operation a little more than a quarter of a mile away. Now, if we take a look at the second strongest quake to strike Oklahoma, a 3.6 in Langston, what do we see? A fracking rig only 1.3 miles from the earthquake epicenter. Wow. Now, remember guys, it wasn't that long ago that these areas didn't really experience earthquakes. Now, some say that this is the earthquake capital of the world. It's disturbing. Oregon continues to see activity, primarily in the Lakeview area at the base of a dormant volcano. 21 quakes to be exact, with the strongest being a 2.1. Washington State has experienced continued activity, 29 over the past four days, with the strongest being a 1.8. Now, if we navigate south along the Craton, we'll discover that California has experienced over 350 quakes in the past four days, the strongest being a 3.4 out of Big Pine. If you have been keeping up with our report, you will recall that this area experienced several powerful quakes on February the 16th, the strongest being a 4.8. Now remember folks, this is once again striking a dormant volcano field. Now I wouldn't begin to say that this could result in an eruption, but what I am 
am saying is this. This is indicative of pressure mounting in the area. Based off of earthquake forecasters like Dutch Sense, I would keep my eyes peeled for additional quake activity in the earthquake quiet areas, equaling to or exceeding that in which we have experienced lately. In the past, we spoke, we have spoken about the Craton and how if movement is witnessed on one side of the country, you can expect to see movement on the other. This holds completely true over the past few days where we saw an earthquake in Old Mass and in New Jersey, both being minor but indicating the Craton's unrest. It's very interesting. Jumping around a bit, Hawaii has been quite busy with 26 earthquakes over the past four days. The strongest being a 3.6 at their active volcano. This happens to be our location of interest. Let's take a look at the area now. I'm always blown away at the sheer size of this or this volcano's butte. I mean, it really is amazing. Look at this. Now, if you have ever been to Hawaii and you've seen this firsthand, I would love to hear from you. Make certain to post down below. And speak of hearing from subscribers, our shout out today goes to an individual named Bonnie Crucified. She stated the following via our earthquake report on February the 22nd. <clears throat> Revelations 1317. Legal name, try buying, selling, banking, anything without it. It's illegal to use a legal name. Google legal name fraud. So, Bonnie. Thanks for the comment. First of all, I hope you are doing great. Second, how does your comment relate to the video? I'm all about revelations, but I, I'm not seeing the connection. So if you have time, please follow up with us, and thanks again. And guys, that is it for the earthquake report. If you experienced an earthquake today or over the past few days, please post below. We would like to hear about it. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined, also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. We'll talk to you soon. Hoorah!